multiple gang charges after investigators discovered guns and drugs inside his home. Here's an exclusive look at what investigators say found at Fremondo Crenshaw's home. A 31-year-old uh, who raps under the name YSL Mondo is currently being held at the Cobb County Jail. Channel 2's Michael Seiden live in Cobb County where the rapper is facing some serious charges. Yeah, Justin, he's accused of strangling a woman inside a Marietta home. That happened in 2022. He was out on bond, and investigators say when he failed to show up to this courthouse for a court date, they issued a warrant for his arrest, and when the feds went after him, he's now facing even more felony charges. He's a local rapper and a convicted felon accused of strangling a woman in a Marietta home in 2022. Since then, Fermando Crenshaw, who performs under the name YSL Mondo, has been out on bond. But when he failed to show up to court earlier this year, investigators with the U.S. Marshals Task Force, Cobb County Sheriff's Office, and GBI started searching for him. They finally caught up with him last month at his DeKalb County home, where they arrested him on numerous felony charges, including three counts of violation of the Street Gang Terrorism and Prevention Act. Although charging documents did not identify a specific gang, multiple law enforcement sources tell Channel 2 that Crenshaw is a member of Young Slime Life, or YSL, the same alleged street gang that's been at the center of a sweeping RICO indictment charging hip-hop superstar Young Thug and his alleged associates. Now, Crenshaw is not charged in that indictment, but in the past, on his social media pages, he's talked about how he and Young Thug, whose real name is Jeffrey Williams, we're both the co-founders of Young Stoner Life, a successful music label. Crenshaw now faces more than a dozen charges in DeKalb County, but first his legal team will have to address the allegations here in Cobb County. And I should make it clear, attorneys for Young Thug and his alleged associates have all uh, denied any wrongdoing, saying they're all innocent of those charges. Now, as far as Crenshaw reached out to his attorney, but he declined to comment, but we do know he is due back in court next month. We're live in Cobb County, Michael Seiden, Channel 2 Action News.